Okay, uh, drawing tools that I use. Um, I use, for example, this RNF pigment stick. I know it's really difficult to get here in Europe, and I was lucky to that my husband took it from uh, the US. It often has a skin on it, so you have to take that off with a pellet knife. And they're uh, lovely thick and, and juicy. You can just ride with them. Or um, use them as, as paint. I, use, I often use them as paint as well. They're very, very creamy, as you can see. A bit less creamy, but also very beautiful. Full are these uh, Sennelier oil bars, which I love. You know, you, you can draw with them, but you can see that it's more detailed than the, the uh, oil bars. I also have uh, these smaller ones. I use them quite a lot, especially in my upper layers. Your layers have to be dry or uh, at least uh, dry to the touch if you, ha you use your uh, oil um, pastels. You can use some uh, soft pastel as well. I use it quite a lot. But you can see that if it's too wet, you're just pressing into the paint. But when it's dry, I don't know, is this dry a bit more? Yeah, you can see that it stays on top. And you can get beautiful effects with it. To fix them, I often use um, a clear layer of coal wax over them. Then we have these Neo Color 2 crayons to scribble. As I say, you can scribble on a dry it has to be really, really dry on a dry painting. Uh, or you can scribble uh, if you only start painting to get rid of the blank canvas. Stabilo Woodos, Woodies, also very beautiful. One of my favorites is this um, Marabou Art Crayon. You don't have to run to the shop to, um, to get them all, of course. Just use what you have and then see different effects and see what you like. And maybe just buy one and see if you like the effect. But I've collected over the years, I've collected quite a, a bit. What I use a lot as well is pen pestle. Uh, you can apply the pen pestle in a thin layer with a, uh, a makeup sponge. And just, I don't know if you can see it here, cover a part of your painting. But what you also can do is sprinkle it on, like with the dry pigments. And then I press it in with my pellet knife if it's not too wet. Or I put some um, wax, um, wax paper or baking paper over it. And um, like this. And press it in with the brayer. What you also can use, but that you can only use in your very, very first um, layer before you start the cold wax and oils just on your blank canvas or on your blank paper is acrylic pens this one doesn't work anymore it really does it should work yeah okay um i think i've showed you all my um drawing tools and i will tell you a little bit about the painting surfaces and then we can start painting